two more left on this side. This is this is uh, Sirach chapter uh, 10 verse 13. It says, For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that had it shall pour out abomination. Therefore the Lord Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. That's the same thing that happened to the son of Korea. He was very proud, he was lifted up, and he thought that he could really come against the Most High. So the Most High showed him a thing or two and brought him low. Verse 14, it says, The Lord Yahweh hath cast down the thrones of the proud princes and set up the meat in their stead. See, the Most High has cast down many prideful men, such as Sennacherib. Mm -hmm. Cast him down and he set up the meat in their stead. He set up the humble. So, that was it. Very, man. Good point. Uh, go ahead with that description. Go ahead, brother. Tobit. Tobit, chapter 1, verse 20. Then all my, my goods was forcibly taken away. Neither was there anything left, me, beside my wife, Anna, and my son, Tobias. So now we went full circle, all the way back to Tobit. So we, we, we're going dealing with the faith that Tobit had, and he was protected. All right? And him being protected was the Lord killing Sennacherib, the king of the Assyrians, at the precise moment when Sennacherib was going to go kill he put out the order to kill Tobit and the order to kill Hezekiah in 681 B.C. That's when he died. Go ahead. Verse 21. Right. And there passed not five and fifty days before two of his sons killed him. That's right. And they fled into the mountains of Arab. And Sarshadonis, his son, reigned in his stead who appointed over his father's accounts. Right, and that person that's talking about there is a guy named Esar Hed. Right, he was the next one that ruled after 681 B.C., after his father got killed and mutilated and destroyed and upset. <laughs> and epic fail against Yehovah Shem El Shai. Go ahead, brother. And over all his affairs. Yeah, so, go ahead. Archicarus, my brother, Anel's son, Yep, so after after Senate Korea was dead, when uh when Tobit found out that they put a hit out on him, a, a death sentence on him, now he now he heard that Tobit was killed I mean that uh Santa Korea was dead. He still didn't know that the angels done showed up and killed him. And he didn't even know that an angel was gonna be dealing with his son on this trip journey. Go ahead. And I and I could Karis, entreating for me, I return to never. Nineveh? Nineveh. So he returned to Nineveh. He returned to Nineveh. It was safe to return to Nineveh at this time. Why? Because the wicked witch was dead. Uh, Santa Carrera. Uh, okay. Now Akakaris was cupbearer and keeper of the, of the signet. Oh, that was it? And steward and overseer of the accounts. Yeah, that's, that's probably it on that. Yeah, and so when we, when are we going to be able to go back to our land? Once Esau is removed out of the way, the wicked witch got to be dead and be gone. But this should help with any type of faith, man. The Lord going to send his righteous angels, man. They're fully alive and thriving and ready to get here and protect you and do the will of the Father, either destroy you or to protect you. But either way, it's going to get done, man. So you got to have faith, man. All right, anybody got any more precepts on that? Oh, I got something to say. Man, you gotta have just like just like the brother say, man, you gotta have faith. Because once somebody throws a stone in the block of your way, you don't know what the fuck to do. Just like this man here stuck in the car in the ground the block, it's a car here, but you don't know what to do, you just sitting there, man. That's why you gotta have somebody to uh, depend on, you know, a higher power so you can direct yourself. You know, because just like this man, you're gonna be stuck in the loop. Go ahead, man. Like what Geronimo said on the movie. He said, man, that the, the, the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah spoke to him and said, no bullet should kill him, and that he was going to die. Him. And that's the same spirit Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to have upon the men that have faith upon him, man. All right? He's going to protect us, man. Because there's also a scripture quoted in Sirach, all right, that no harm should come unto the men that fear him, man. Close out. Oh, that's a All right, so with that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to say, uh, Ka Halayim, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim. All right.